need to change the uh, horn sound the milliseconds it's a little too long right now anyway locked it press and hold the key at the bottom here The remote um, indicates it's running, so if you're not near the vehicle, it just it flashes blue lights every few seconds. I have it set to leave the parking lights on when it's uh, idling. It locks it after remote start just to make sure. Lock it here. All of the, uh, the spaghetti. Yeah, gotta gotta tuck that in and put it to bed. That'll be fun. <clears throat> First, I gotta resolder the uh, data wire to the OBD connector because someone, the previous owner, cut it and they spliced it in with electrical tape no solder for the old auto page system but yeah um as you can see heat's running no keys in the ignition and the safety feature is if someone breaks into it because they see it's running they go to press the brake to shift it, it kills the engine Go ahead and get another start here. I just heard it lock right after starting. I didn't lock it either, so I locks it and uh, I guess I'll show the takeover and lock it get in put the key in the ignition turn it to run put your foot on the brake that disables the module and you've successfully taken over the vehicle and you're off um, the idle feature, say so I'm picking up a food I ordered online, press and hold the key on the fob, the uh, instrument cluster lights turn on, meaning the parking lights are on, you go ahead and turn it off, take the keys out, it stays running. I if I shut the door all the way, and go ahead and... Go ahead and lock it and walk away. And it stays running for 25 minutes. You can change it anywhere from 10 minutes to, I think, 45 minutes. But yeah, that's uh, that's it. The remote feels uh, quite nice, actually. I was surprised. Um, looks pretty decent, too. I like how it's not... Looks all... I like how it doesn't look like the... <laughs> the radio in here but yeah now it's just the reassembly of everything down there go back it turns off the parking lights and you're set to go the uh, install was actually uh, uh, now that I've done it and it's working Looking back on it, it's very easy. Um, the problem I had was um, it was it, it gives codes through parking light flashes. It was it's three flashes and then it was eight flashes after a pause, and eight flashes meant no tack signal. Um, I was trying to do data tack through the OBD2 port wire, um, the purple data wire. 
and to get it read digitally, um, but I ended up tapping into, uh, with this wire up to the, behind the gauge cluster, um, to the actual tack wire. Um, but that was not the problem, so that was a waste of time doing that. The actual problem was I had both of these red 12 volt wires. I had them switched. They're both uh, constant power. Um, I guess it somehow it mattered which one got which. I don't know. I don't know why it would matter. I guess it must be where the wires lead in the vehicle. So once I switched that, I got out of the car, locked it, and like, yeah, this ain't gonna work because everything else I've tried didn't work. Pressed the key button and it fired right up. So I was like, oh my gosh, I did it. So yeah, easy install. Um, highly recommend for us winter warriors.